everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful time preparing for Christmas and that you have plans to stay with some of your beloved family members or some really good friends and that you have some really really yummy food prepared and for the ones of you that don't like Christmas I hope you're doing something fun anyways and, uh, and I also hope that you're making some time for yourself during this period because we all know how <clears throat> how busy and um, overwhelming it can get sometimes to prepare for a holiday such as Christmas especially Christmas and the New Year's and uh, yeah so that you make a little few a few little gaps and breaks in between some pauses for yourself where you center yourself and feel grateful for what you have and so that you're not constantly in a rush to achieve something or buy something or you know uh, add things to your schedule and so that you actually take a moment to become present and grateful and center yourself in the right now because everything that we do that is a grasp for I need to buy this or I need to do that and I need to decorate it this way I need to you know all these needs and desires and the grasping on all of that is just an escape from the now so it's really important that you remember that the now the present moment is the only thing that exists everything else is just a it's a denial of the present moment it's an escape from the present moment so so take a moment and think through why is it that I always have to have something going on? Why is it I always have to to buy things? Or why is it I always have to 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 follow something or to read about something or to be somewhere else except now? Why is that so important? What is it in the present moment that feels so hard? Because for most people the present moment is quite hard. It's not very easy for a lot of people, to, for most people, to just sit down and just be. And just be. And then just close your brain off. It's really, really hard for most people. But take a moment during the holidays now and explore in your own life. Why is it so hard for me to just be? Why is it so hard for me to just accept the present moment? Why is it so hard to just enjoy the peace and the silence and the stillness and the beauty of the present moment why is that so hard just one question you can ask yourself over the holidays and another thing i wanted to quickly uh, uh, speak about is that we've rented this yeah we've rented this beautiful uh, accommodation it's a cottage in the countryside uh, in bath outside of bristol and uh, <clears throat> Yeah, we had no clue. There was nowhere indicated that this place would be right next to a... I wouldn't say it's a highway, but it's a really, really busy road with loads of trucks and cars that goes on and on and on and on. And I had planned to... You know, it's a beautiful environment, beautiful countryside, and there are pictures of beautiful countryside on the booking system when we booked this place and the fireplace, and ah, oh, it was so amazing. And I thought I'm going to be able to do loads of videos and do loads of stuff uh, for my work uh, that requires peace and, and harmony. And uh, then we got here last night and it was almost around midnight when we, when we got to the accommodation. And it was still busy. The road was just ongoing. Boom, 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 boom. And it's just there, like five meters away. The road is just outside of the window. And, you know, in the past, my initial reaction would probably be, who can I blame? What is going on? Why, why didn't I know this? So I would blame myself, and then I would blame probably my partner, and then I would probably blame pe the people that advertised it wrong. And, you know, it would be an ongoing, just a negative energy building up within me, and the frustration, and the stress, and everything. Whereas nowadays, it's just... Okay, universe, I love you, you are amazing, and you are full of humor, and you are just a bit twisted sometimes, but this is just, this is just another nudge for me to just, alright, I wasn't supposed to do that right now, and what can I learn from this instead? It's another lesson in learning to not be attached to an outcome, to not be attached to having to get those videos done in a certain time, uh, it's fair but to let it go and all right I'll do them another time and I will enjoy this period with my family and do the other things that we would like to do and 
and uh, and also to be with it, you know, and explore what you know the changes you have made in your life. I in the past I used to behave this way or react in this way. Now I have outgrown that, and everything feels so much more liberating and free because I'm no longer attached to things happening my way the way I perceive them as important or whatever. So it's interesting. So look into that as well during the holidays if you get a chance. Look into when, when a negative emotion arises within you, when you feel stressed or tense or, or you're on your way of feeling a bit annoyed and, and irritated or, you know, at anything that might happen during the holidays. Um, then take a moment, pause yourself and check in with yourself. Why does that bother me? Hmm, that's not really a big deal, is it? You know, because oftentimes it's just a story that we have created, it's an expectation. We can't be sure of anything, really. And uh, sometimes things just happen. And they come as a lesson rather than something to resist. So if you can change the resistance and the attachment to acceptance and, you know, turn it into humor, because that's what it is. Life is humoristic, sometimes it's just like, okay, here we go again. And so why is this happening again? Because I still have something to learn. I still have something to overcome here. There is not, my, my life is not supposed to be a struggle. Life is supposed to be ease. And I think that's one of the biggest things in life, and one of the greatest meanings of life, I think, is to find a way to live in peace and with ease and not being that obstacle for yourself because oftentimes we are the obstacles. It's the way we react to a situation or a challenge. That is the obstacle, not the obstacle itself, you know, because things just happen. They do for everybody and, uh, and your reaction is what counts. If you can then meet every new little challenge or little, you know, obstacle with, hmm, interesting and let's move on if you can meet those challenges that way you know your life will be so much easier and so much more enjoyable for everybody around you and you will be able to just enjoy life for what it is and just be in the moment and that's also you know becoming attached or upset with some things that's also uh, a, that also shows you that you have, you have a tendency to not be in the moment. You are you're not willing to accept the moment for what it is. You want the moment to become something that you had perceived, you know, as being the most perfect way to for the thing to unfold. All right. I think that was all for me. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful time of the year. And even if I didn't used to love Christmas so much, I think it's now one of the most coziest times of the year because uh, you get to spend time with family members you haven't seen in a long time and you can definitely choose whoever you want to be with. There is nobody forcing you to do anything. If you feel like being completely alone over Christmas or just with your partner or just with a few friends, that's totally fine and you can do it any way you like. And that's the beauty with life in general, just do what feels good for you. This time of the year is also a really good time to contemplate what, what was good with the year that passed and how can I improve my life moving forward. Uh, 2019 is just on a doorstep and uh, how can I invite more peace and harmony into my heart so I can make better decisions for myself? You know, I think that's a very important thing for living at peace and living a good life is, you know, not adding more things to do or people or events or social gatherings or whatever, and, or things, material, but rather how can I gain a little bit more time for myself? How can I work towards accepting, appreciating, loving, enjoying the present moment more? What can I do to be here more? Because being right here is the only place where you can be. There is no way you can be in the future. There's no way you can be in the past. Do what you can to try and gain more spaciousness within your life so that you can really truly be here and appreciate this magical moment of now uh, because it is, it's beautiful.
this moment is the only this moment only exists right now and it is a beautiful moment to be alive and to be fully who you are you know step into the role of being you fully how can I give more of myself how can I express myself more how can I share my voice even more how can I be more authentic how can I be more true to myself how can I offer more love and compassion to people in my life and to others how can I how can I enjoy my life more? How can I be more at peace? You know, ask yourself these questions and try and do everything you can to be as content and happy and grateful in your now. Yeah, I think that was all. I'm gonna be um, trying to do another video in my next in our next accommodation. We're moving to another place tomorrow, and I'm hoping that uh, it will be a bit more quiet and harmonious. And, and if it isn't, then that's fine too. And so we're staying in our next accommodation for two nights and then we're driving up the north of the United Kingdom and are going to spend some Christmas days there with uh, family members and that will be very, very sweet. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful time. See you soon. Namaste.